right, Julian. So to pump gas into a car, you have to pull the handle like this. See? Watch how I do it. Okay. Yeah. See how I have it pulled? Yeah. Okay, now you do it. Okay, pull, pump the gas. All done? Okay, put it back. Okay. Put it in there and screw to the right. Screw to the right. Till it clicks. Make sure you got to No, no, you got to click. Like that, see? That's how you know it's in. Okay. There you go. You pump gas for the first time. Good job, buddy. Mountains and machines don't like us. And the only variety of coffee likes to grow this high is called Arabica, which is very common. They sell Arabica coffee at McDonald's and Tim Hortons, actually. Um, but what you do is push on one end and you get the beans out. Oh. Oh. Do you want to touch them? They're slimy, but they won't yeah. hurt you. They are slimy. So, coffee is technically a fruit, which means you could eat it. I would not recommend to eat this one because we are all touching it. And it farms are down to about 15% loss. And a grape, like the inside of a grape. So this slime bean, we didn't know it at the time, is not in the coffee bean. We thought we were getting the caffeine content and the color brown comes at that point. So everything changes once you cook it. And the main labor of coffee is that we still have to pick by hand. And then all the coffee is behind us once. at once. That way we don't bug our neighbors. Chop up and down. When hit against the walls of the machine, near the coffee beans, all the rubbing rubs off the dry paper. So all the heavy beans go uphill, lighter beans are at the bottom, and I was very confused for a while. Uh, but if you think of a bag of chips, all the crumbs are at the bottom because they fall through. Or if you grab a jar of sand and rocks, if you shake it, the sand will go underneath the rocks and push the rocks up. Same thing on our black, and you haven't roasted it yet. Super over ripened coffee. Yeah, they're, they're more like short term orders with like two coffee. The middle section is your roasting the oven cooking area, and the part that's exposed is your cooling bin because coffee comes out very hot. So if you let it just sit, it's going to burn. You don't want it to happen. What happens to cause that pot? Once you open it, you have six months of bean coffee, ground coffee. Once open is three months. If you put it in the fridge or freezer, it is good for two weeks. 